All right, guys. So, if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out how do you install new RAM into your laptop. And I'm going to do a little tutorial slash this is how you do it because I got to do it anyway. I just bought some new RAM, 8 gigs, and I need to install it. So, we're going to have the fun old task of doing this. So, come along with me. <sighs> First step will be to unplug all the wires. Make sure your laptop is off, of course. Don't want to do this while it's on. And next you're gonna need probably a Phillips screwdriver to take all the screws off the base. I'll make sure I get this unplugged. All right. I'm gonna set you guys up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So, if you need to fill a screwdriver, you're gonna start taking out all of these screws on the bottom. Now, this is where normal funded channels that have been doing it in our experience will do a what is it? A a, a high speed, you know. Like, well, taking it apart so that, you know, it doesn't distract the viewers and cause them to not gain retention and click on something else because viewers' retention is very, very small and they only stay engaged if you keep them engaged. <laughs> but I'm not an experienced YouTube video creator yet. I say yet because I'm working on providing better content, better videos. So, you know, you guys can come along with me with the journey and see how I progress. You got a green screen coming. I put out music. I have a prom promotional website. It's just Nevada.com. Um, let's see what else I do. I make graphic images. I create beats. I play guitar, I create Loops for producers. I'm an older, I'm a gamer, so you'll see gaming content on this channel. Um, really love watching Cletus McFarlane and Boost the Boys, so you'll see me repost clips from their channel sometimes. Okay, so you're gonna want to take the battery out, of course. And um. There's screws inside the battery bay. You want to make sure you get those. Because you don't want to start taking the uh, base off if you don't have all the screws yet. Because you'll end up cracking or breaking the screws. That's never good. Never want to have any cracked screws. Not that it's going to be like make it not work. But you know. So, I'm going to show you all in a second the RAM that I bought. I got some 8 gigabyte Kingston. Nothing special, but it's at the same clock speed as the RAM that's already in it. So, that's what I was focused on more than anything. Alright, now the grueling task of separating it. I really don't have a standard operating procedure of doing this normally. Just make sure all the screws you got and then where it wants to give way in the crack is normally where you start working it. But it's gonna be a little easier for me since I opened this up this morning to check if I could install the RAM, which you wanna do first, of course. Uh, make sure it's possible for you to upgrade for what kind of RAM you already got. Because you don't want to go out and buy some new RAM and then not have it be compatible. Oh gosh. There it goes. So I'll start working the other corners. See, I tried to keep the screws 
in the hole so we don't lose any, which I probably should have grabbed like a cup or something. But we'll be all right. Okay, okay. almost there, almost. Oh gosh, all right, Eureka. Now, take our handy dandy Kingston Ram. Make sure I don't touch it when I take it out. Okay, so Ram goes here. Now, I'm gonna stop you guys. All right, we're upside down. But as you can see, this is the RAM that I'm working with. And it's DDR4, eight gigabytes. Um, it says, what does it say? Two six on it, which pretty much tells you that the clock speed is two six six six. So here's our RAM. And it doesn't say clock speed on it, but that's all right. All right, so I'm gonna take this, and slide it right in here. Make sure these, okay, this is gonna be difficult, but you guys, I might wanna set you up when I do it. All right, hold on. All right, I'm doing this right. I don't wanna force it in there trying to hold it phone and do this at the same time should just be a matter of expanding these clips and pushing it down I don't know how you do both at the same time though there we go secure all right so next step will be putting the case on you i'll be right back with you guys all right guys well now i'm installing the battery again what you want to do is make sure all screws are nice and tight do a cross pattern and make sure you get ones in the battery bay don't tighten them too much all right, I'm going to set this up, and I'll come back with you, and let's see if we were successful. All right, guys, let's keep our fingers crossed. Should be fine. I'm just saying. You can never be too careful. Okay, that's good. Taking a little longer than normal, but it's all right. Let it think. It's probably not sure what's going on. So, ooh, new RAM. I got double the RAM now. I went from 8 to 16, so it should help. I'm going to show you guys where to check to make sure that the RAM actually installed. Wow, is it already started? It says we got 16. 13.1 available So it's using three that's yeah, that's about right or you can go to computer My computer or this PC right click right here press properties and it's gonna tell you right here 16 gigabytes All right good stuff I didn't break anything, nothing blew up. 
All right, hope this helped you out, guys. Much love. Peace. Like the video. Leave a comment. You know what to do. Peace out.